<laughs> because like I know uh, I told you about the toy, right? Like they, I think they sell it at Walmart. It's a box of the the Sports Almanac um cover, but inside it is Biff from uh the first yeah. Back to the Future. You know, oh. that's pretty cool. Okay. All right. So, did you watch the first one again, or the second one, or did you watch both of them? I watched both of them. I watched the first. I watched both of them. I watched okay, the I did first too. one, and then I watched the new remake. So what, let's you. talk about the old one. Oh, I watched both of them. The, okay. The, the, the on the second one, did you watch the director's extended cut, or did you watch the theater version? I believe I watched the theater version. The extended cut have Ethan Hawke in it, right? Yes. Yeah, I didn't watch the one with Ethan Hawke in it. Oh, I'm sorry you didn't because you Why missed a better movie. The oh whole no way! Did. They put enough. No, they put enough little pieces. The whole movie's almost the same. So if you have Ethan Hawke, you have a little more story. We'll get to that. Okay. Let's go ahead and talk about the original first. Let's but talk about yeah, Honor. But the problem is, I don't. I don't know why they. Sh- they probably should just delete the theater theater version. I don't even know if you can get it anymore. They should just get rid of it. Really? Story's different. Yeah, they, they changed so, the story. So it's almost just, like Blade Runner. It, you know, it's like Blade Runner. You know how they oh or, add the unicorn? Yeah. And it changes the whole story up just by adding a little piece. They added a few lines, and it changes the story a little bit. Whoa. Man, now, okay, I, I'm going to find it. I'll find a total way. In another way, I feel like you're getting ripped off on information during the movie. But okay, in the original, I watched the original good. Again, yeah. okay? I yeah. liked it. I actually I liked it. I like it, too. It, you know? I think it still holds up today. It it yeah, I think it does hold up today. I mean, the clothes are dated, and, yeah. and, and the, I mean, I mean, just, just, it, the only thing that's working against the old movie is the technology ahead of the day, you know, because the clothes were a little mess, you know, the clothes were kind of goofy, but yeah, they didn't have the special effects to show you a bigger world, you know, Mars, yep. the Mars yeah. special effects, because I mean, look at the city on Mars, it's on the ground, and you knew it's kind of like, they shot like in the studio, yeah, it's like yeah. in a set, it was, you know, it's in a set. Yeah, you know? but they did the real pretty good job. Compared to what we see now. nowadays, yeah, yeah, what we see nowadays in movies, it's like, oh, they're in a set. It kind of like it kind of reminds me of Demolition Man too. Oh, you know, yeah, it is. Out in but, the basement. Yeah, like uh, Back to the Future, they did it on a set, like Demolition Man. I'm pretty sure some of even the outside shot they did on the set. But yeah, like, but I thought it was good. I liked it better than the RoboCop at the time. Oh, well, you did. Because the same director, you know, it's the same director. Yeah, Paul, Paul Van, Van Hoven. Yeah, yeah, Paul yeah. Van Hoven. He, he's oh, older, his futuristic but... stuff. You could easily tell that his style. He really liked the phones with the video screen or the you not can, big old TV, but you know. Because Starship Starship Troopers is, is him too. Yep, that's him Remember too. But he's like Troopers, a newer, which we got to yeah. we got to talk about too. Yes, we but do. Anyhow, I mean, yeah, he has a certain way, but he likes gore. He always got to have gore. He, yep, he does. You know, he always likes people getting shot up, and he's got to have bodies every movie's gonna have a body riddled with bullet holes <laughs> yeah that's that's his thing like that's realism right there i believe like, like to him it's like yeah we it's like uh i want y'all to shoot this guy and they shoot him like no 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 bullet holes we have to redo this you need like you gotta have a hundred hands gotta come off okay you gotta shoot yes. so many times hands gotta come off like even um that alien guy right like uh mathis is that what his name was that that came out that other no, dude it wasn't his name was uh what was his name oh, that's was his the name new mathis? one but no, the 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 little guy in his chest had yeah. a different name. Yeah, Katu. it had a different name. Yeah, yeah, Katu. Katu. Yeah, the, the anyhow, the leader. Like he had like a he had like a Chucky coming out of his chest. Yeah, it <laughs> does. Right? It looks like, like it's the form. Like I'm not finished developing yet, you know, so give me well, here's another what I year. Have a with. It's like he <laughs> almost had a baby. I'm like, yeah, some dude was having a baby. That's what happens if a guy has a baby, okay? It's yeah, that's what it looks like. Exactly. Yeah, it's like a cup all the way out. It feels like it. Like, he can summon this, I guess the whole being is alien or some kind of Milton, right? Like, you know, yeah, he's a, he can come out. Yeah. I, guess it's, I think it's two, I would say it's two people. There's the it's host. It's two people. There's, yeah, the host and there's mutant. Because, you know, I keep saying this guy's coming. This yeah. character's coming. Yeah. And when he pops out, he's zoned, he's zoned out. Because remember, all sorts of like, wake up, wake up, they're coming. So is this <laughs> like, like a spy thriller come. movie also? Like in the original? It's like a spy thriller, right? In a way. What? Spy dweller. I I'd say yeah, it is. It's a spy yeah. thriller. I mean, I mean, because yeah, it's a mainly a spy movie. And I guess this movie is it was made where it's open ended. You know, the okay, he, you know, he saves the uh, Mars and it turns yeah. to white. So you could either leave the leave the theater thinking it was real, or you can leave the theater thinking it was a dream. 
It's you not, know, I, I think they did it really like, well in the first, the first one, thing, in the original. I like, one. I like that because I like going. Nobody's. I mean, you could argue it's a dream, or I could argue it's real. It yeah. doesn't matter because nobody's going to be right. Nobody's going to be wrong. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know I, what I thought really well? Like, if you've never seen this movie, right? Like, if you show it to someone for the first time, and then the scene where, like, okay, they tell you all the stuff, you would think that Arnold was on his mission. Like, uh, Quay, you would think that he's already in mission. He's already implanted. You know, it, uh, that dream or the memory is taken over from that point on. Because you don't know what's real and what's not. Because you have no idea what the story is if you watch it for the first time. Do you remember? Some tape would probably some tape would probably help. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you were doing? Adjusting your camera? <laughs> well, I was adjust adjusting the computer to yank the wire. He oh, ripped the camera off the of okay. TV. But you heard what I said. But anyhow, right? yeah, you're right. You're right. I mean, it's kind of like that part with Terminator yeah, I heard Two. What you said. Even like though, with Arno, you never knew Arno was the bad guy. Yeah, you don't know like. Uh, Cause you know when you watch it for like the you know after the second time or yeah, the second you, time, well, that... yeah, yeah. Well, this is the second time I ever watched it. You know, for this, oh. just so we could talk about it. This is the second time I watched it. I don't remember thinking too much of it the first time I saw it. Second time I watched it, yeah, I liked it a lot better. It, I mean, I was able to put. I mean, I guess because we watched some older movies, so I was able to get past the. Hey, it's gonna look kind of crappy. <laughs> It doesn't it's look kind of crumb. Well, it's it's not really it's not really the cinematography. It's it's the film look. Yeah, it just a... doesn't age well on the on the TVs we have now. Yeah, it's just like you can see it's got yeah. all kinds of blurs and stuff. I'm like, can somebody clean this up? You know. You know what's really funny? Like, I could uh, turn yeah. on my TV. Like these movies are known for like plot holes and stuff, right? Because you know it just strictly action after action. You know what I noticed during like um when he's going through that yeah. tunnel where you check for weapons, like the X-ray tunnel. <laughs> You know, they found out he has a gun, right? On yeah. one side, the security guard were coming, and on the other guy is like Michael Ironside, right? Like the uh, the the group that he used to work for, or he worked yeah. for. You know, it's really funny when he busts out of that glass, the security guards kind of like shrug it off. I was like, where the hell does the security guards go? And like, after he jumped out, he was fine. <laughs> like, that last guy just walks off the screen. <laughs> I noticed that. I'm like, oh, I thought, I thought there would be two groups chasing oh, him. The biggest problem with a lot of action movies, especially old action movies, I know if, if they're the guys that's supposed to get shot, they pause for some reason. And it's like they pause. It's like, I'm going to get shot, so I got to pause so I can get yeah. shot. Yeah, the script like pops out. Like, 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 I, yeah. I love seeing yeah. those things. <laughs> I got to stop and hands back a little bit. Because so <laughs> I know it's going to happen. They shoot me. <laughs> you know what I really I mean, like? like that's what, it looks real life to me. I mean, that's, that's what you always see. You always see the bad guys just stop and get shot. You know what I like uh this movie that that watch that he have it creates that hologram, that's like one of his kind back in the oh, day yeah. like back in the eight uh, no this the is mirror. yeah the mirror thing like, yeah, like no this image total watch. recall came out in nineteen ninety right or eighty nine oh yeah, well, whatever no, it's still older it's nineteen ninety nineteen ninety okay or eighty nine we could say eighty nine yeah eighty nine ninety but like that that hologram was one of the uh, first of its kind of that era right I never seen anything like that and they yeah, did it pretty I, well I, too. I'd say they did it pretty well, yeah. yeah the hologram. I mean, I can't know. think of it. I can't, I can't think of anything else. Well, just I mean, back I, to the future. I know the head. You know. Remember? Yeah, yeah remember the, the head, head where he comes through the he comes through the checkpoint and he looks like this uh, redhead lady. The other lady, yep. And then, and then he starts the because it's important. The head yeah, pops important. open and it all folds out, which I'm like, that was pretty good. Where the head, yeah, all the, the it, things go back. I mean, yeah, I know it, it looks, looks realistic. Silly. Yeah, it looks silly, it looks but like, silly. like it looks so cool. Or like, and he takes it off and it's like a bomb here, catch. Yeah, it's like, it's like, here, catch this. Oh. No, and it was then, pretty good. You also got to mention that the, the, when he's on Mars, he meets the girl with three boobs. So, we... oh. so <laughs> I know we're not talking about the remake, right? I know when, a long time ago, when they were talking about, like, they're going to remake Total Recall, one of the first things that bother everybody is, like, well, are they going to show the, because it's PG-13, right? Are they going to show the three boob lady? And I'm thinking, like, the three boob chick has nothing to do with the story of it Total Recall. But, hey, in certain cultures, three boobs is a big deal. Yeah, I, I guess. But then, to me, as, like, a movie watcher, a movie, like, you know, a movie buff, right? And I'm thinking, shouldn't, like, if you're talking about a remix, shouldn't the bigger question be, like, 
hey, are they still going to talk about malls or are they talking about something else? Nothing, nothing about, like, they have nothing to do with the storyline. Yeah. Well, you know, I was so thing. mad, like, and then they still did it. That's the, that's yeah, the sad thing. they still did it, but the, you know, the sad thing is that nobody really cared because it's like, huh, eh, we've seen this before. Yeah, that's the thing, like, why, why bother, you know? I was like, the yeah, three it, it did actually you know, like, make sense. It actually didn't no. make sense in the new one because in the first one they had mutants. Yeah, the mutants. The I didn't, yeah, it didn't make sense in the, remake, in the new one. There too. were no mutants. Yeah. There were no there was mutants. No mutants. At all. Yeah. And anyways, I mean, how is she going to join the X Men? I mean, what's your powers? <laughs> well, I could free three kids at once. <laughs> you know uh, what else I like about the first movie? You know that um scene where. I love those eighties lines when um when he shot Sharon Stone in the head. <laughs> and yeah. He's like consider that a it's, divorce. <laughs> yeah, consider yourself a divorce. That is Which, so by the way, Sharon Stone could fight, man. You see that? Yeah, yeah, I did. Like the scene that she, she did, did. But I mean, the fight scenes were not as good as the remake. No, but I mean, but you get the thing. But the problem is, remake has an advantage over the original because they see they get to see what's happening. Yeah, and they 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 get to see how the fight goes and they like, how can we make this better. Yep. Yeah, and you know, the old times the just they got to film. Because you got to think, Total Recall was pretty good for this time. Yeah. I think it did better It did better at the box office than the new Recall did. But oh, yeah. I know, because the Wemick thing, you know? Yeah, That's well, it's thing. also because of, of the competition. I mean, come on, you had Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah. And this one is Colin Farrell, where he's not known for an action movie, right? Like. Yeah, well, I mean, he was a good actor, and they had a lot oh, more. Oh, he's a good actor. I'd say it had a lot more bigger actors in the yeah, remake, have, but... yeah, so we may have Kate Beckinsale, you know, she's gorgeous, and so is Jessica Biel. They have two yeah, beautiful Biel. women, except that plus, you know they didn't have had, the blonde. Plus, it had Mr. Breaking Bad. Oh yeah, Brian Cranston. Yes. Yeah, I mean, come on, because he was a big, because he, he he was a big star at the time. In this. Yeah, it was a big star at the time because uh, Breaking Bad. And plus, this the 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 remake was directed by the same director that re- Lance directed, Weissman, uh, yeah, Underworld. Exactly. Yeah. So, I mean, he and he brought all his people that he always works with. with yeah, he always, yeah, I know. That's one of the great things. So that way, like, they, he, they already know what he wants and what he but, envisions, you know? But you can't say that, too, because, I mean, you know, I think the original Total Recall was directed by Paul, Vo- was it Paul Hoven? Van Hoven, yeah. Van, Van Hoven. Uh, he brought, he brings all his people, because you yep. got to remember, Ronnie Cox is the bad guy. Same yes. thing as in Robocop. <laughs> same Michael thing Ironside, as in Robocop. <laughs> Ro- Michael Ironside is always in all his movies. Just yeah, about I love Michael Ironside. Robocop. He voices the um that Splinter Cell guy. What is his name? Sam Fisher. Okay. Yeah. 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 I never. I don't do the. the, the, the. But no, anyway. but Michael. I like. Yeah, Michael Einstein was also in Star Starship Troopers, right? Yeah, he was a Starship yeah. Trooper. Yeah. He's also in uh, what's that? Sequest. Oh, he was in Seagate or Sequest. Sequest. Remember Sequest. Sequest? Okay. Okay. I don't. Oh, I'm sorry. It's hard I'm to sorry. find. I can't find Sequest, so I would let. Uh, I would, I'd say, hey, let's watch Sequest. But seeing as how I can't find it, it's just Spielberg, which is funny because it's a Spielberg TV show. Is it? Hold on, let me go. I know we got side But hey, but anyhow, is... let's go back to Total Recall. Cause Total Recall. You know, that's one of the things. Like, who screams like that? So, what is Arnold Schwarzenegger's equivalent to like? Like, what is it? Just me? Like, ah, ah, ah. Is it the same scream that I'm doing as he is? Or is it on a different level? Well, it doesn't matter. I mean, I don't know. I don't think anybody was going to question Arnold Schwarzenegger. Go, hey, uh, Arnold, <laughs> just like, what is that? This sounds so good. What is that? What are you doing over there? Yeah, what are you doing? Are just you in pain? Him, like, you know, the director's like, hey, just let him do it, okay? Yeah. Do you want your ass kicked? Because he could kick yeah. all of our ass. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to get fired? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, come on. And to me, this was one of the better Arnold Schwarzenegger movies. Yeah, because it's a uh, science fiction. Hold on, how many science fiction? He was in Terminator, but he's not in a lot of movies where it's like fun. Well, Terminator was good, but he didn't. He wasn't a main character to me in Terminator. No, not in the first one. You're right. He's not. He's not even in a Terminator Two. He's not the not main really character. In, not in really in two. I mean, yeah. he wasn't. He wasn't a character. He was just a. Oh, two lies. He was a, set, is a good he's, movie. <laughs> he, was a set, he was a weapon. <laughs> yeah, he was a weapon. Two lies is pretty good. Oh, True Lies is good. I forgot. But True science Lies. fiction. But True Arno? Lies was later on. Yeah, science fiction. Arno. I mean, okay, compared to uh, Commando. Oh, uh, I like Total Recall. I mean, I still like Commando. That's over Commando the edge good. for me, you know. Predator. But like, oh, Predator. Predator. Against. Oh. Predator against Total Recall. Total Recall. Okay, Running Man. I... Ooh, that's futuristic too. 
Well, then I guess we're going to do Running Man. <laughs> oh, but hey, I do like Running the Man. Running Man. Running Man better in, in, than this? Oh, no, no, no. I do like the Running Man. But you know what? Okay. I, okay. Like Total Recall, I can find myself always watching over and over. I mean, like easily. Okay, I got I got one. Kindergarten Cop. Oh, my God. <laughs> the Kindergarten Cop was good. It's, it's, it's Arnold's first movie that's not weighted R. Did you know that? What, Kindergarten Cop? Yeah, it's Arnold's first so. movie that's not weighted R. Kids in there. <laughs> With all those kids in there, what kind of movie? Yeah. What kind of person would he be? Because um, he, he wanted to do twins. everything. Yeah, twins. <laughs> they, you know, all these people told him that no. he can do kindergarten cop. He couldn't do comedy. He can't step in, and he proved them wrong. I like twins. Well, I mean, it's remember, not better than Total Recall. When when they were doing Total Recall, when they first the first when they first started doing Total Recall or gonna yeah. gonna write Total Recall, Arnold Schwarzenegger wanted to do it, and they didn't want him. Yeah, because he was too uh, oh, he's too muscular. Yeah, he's too muscular. They want, right? they want like a regular. They didn't want a regular Joe. You know? Like a like a Tom Cruise cat, right? You know. No, they want a Tom Cruise. They want more like Tom Hanks. Huh? What? No, I'm joking. I'm joking. Oh, like, oh, like what? I can't. Maybe well, I don't know. <laughs> if Tom Hanks was a big star back then, they probably would took him. Yeah, it was a bigger star back then, but it was like it wasn't his time yet at that moment. Yeah. Yeah, he wasn't big. Wasn't Man, I couldn't think of anybody like no Arnold did it great because he did this movie because he wanted to work with uh. Paul, you know, the director, Paul Van Hoven. Yeah, that's that's yeah. why he did it. And I think yeah. it turned out well. I mean, No, it turned out really great. It turned out really good. I was happy with it. I mean, and the thing, I mean, I, like I said, I like it. They left it open ending. But I do, I do, I left them. How do you leave the theater, theater watching this? Do you think it was a dream or do you think it was real? I thought it was I'm gonna real. Leave it, I, I'm going to end it on it was real. Yeah, I, I left on it was real. Even too. though I do think... I mean, come on, none of that crap could happen in the real world. Even if we went to Mars and found alien technology, I don't think this would have really happened. Right, yes, but for him as well, I, what I like is I like, do. I, yeah, I, I like the he, story. I mean, a you lot know? of people have their arguments on why it's it could be a dream, and I see all the points through the movie why it could have been a dream. Yeah, it could have been rather, taken. I would rather at the end on it being real. Being real, yeah. Like, yeah. are we watching his pay vacation for his memories? Or are you watching the real life that, like, the, the plan was like, hey, he was Doug, he was Carl Hauser, okay? His plan was to infiltrate these mutants so he, they can kill the leader. And they did that. The only downfall is like, he stuck in his character. That yeah. he ready to help these people instead of like, what he came here undercover for. But yeah, but I mean, there is some neat things. You know, when he goes to the Total Recall, which by the way, when I'm pointing out, the salesman's name's McLean. Yes! <laughs> I know, I always thought that was awesome. Could be a Christmas movie now, but anyhow, but anyhow, you know, there's a guy in the background, you know, when they're asking him, so what kind of vacation you want? You want to be a spy? He goes, I want to be a spy. And yep. the guys, when they're loading up his program, this guy back there goes, oh, blue sky on Mars. You remember? <laughs> so, you know, this is part of the program. It's supposed to turn blue at the end of the yeah. movie. Because oh. he says it right then. You know what? I can't remember. Someone was talking about. I forgot what's one of the YouTube video I watched. That was a if Total Recall two, what it would have been. I can't remember oh, what it Total was. Total Recall two was supposed to be Minority Report. Ah yes, Minority Report. Which yes. by the way, it's it, the remake in Minority Report almost look like they're in the same same world now. Yeah. Mini oh Earth. yes, because they do the memory thing. Yeah, but, but I mean, just the technology, the cities, the tech, all that looks almost same world. Which is, yeah, because it's written by the same author. You know, the short story, Philip K. Dick. Yeah, well, yeah, but but that's not, he didn't write the scripts. And he didn't, no, he didn't write the, the script. Designed, he didn't design what we see on the screen. No, yeah. I mean, oh, I forgot, yeah. Oh, that guy just saw some crazy stuff in his head, and there's probably no telling what he would have yeah. saw. You know? You know? <laughs> you know, when you talk about Gore and this director, right? Like, the, the scene with the escalated is so super messed up when he used that human shield. <laughs> Oh yeah, well, he's got the dummy. He's always that's the thing. He always has a shot up dummy in all his movies, and you know it's a dummy. That's the thing. Even yeah. the Starship Troopers, they've got those dummies, and you know they're dummies, but you don't care because there's like blood and stuff. That's blood heavy. Like the guys taking all the shot. Like, oh, and, oh, oh, oh. and the hero is always beating somebody with the dead body. You know, yeah. I mean, because Arnold Schwarzenegger throws that dead body. Down. Yeah, he throws that dead body on those two guys on the bottom. Like, oh my gosh. Yeah, he's like, yeah. That's that. <laughs> Also, what's neat is the, you know, he jumps in the taxi cab. Yeah. The taxi cab, I know you don't know this actor, but the taxi cab 
voice and the character was based on an actor called Robert Picardo. Ooh, really? Who's that? In Star Trek Voyager. And in Star Trek Voyager, he's the holographic doctor. He always pops up and he goes, what's the nature of your uh, medical like emergency? Visit? Oh, no way. Which he said oh. something similar to it in this. So I'm thinking Star Trek copied that. Because he goes, what? Where he said something about what's the uh, nature or something. Yeah, what's well, the nature of your fans? Oh, yeah, so he plays a so he plays artificial intelligence in two in, in a TV show in, in this movie too. Oh, that's pretty cool. And you know what? Like, let's talk about that. Like the taxi cab. I guess in the in late '80s, that looks virtualistic. That now I'm looking at it, it looks like an ice cream truck. Well, you know the funny thing is, uh, what's it? There's another movie where they're using. Well, yeah, you're right. The cars, the cars look so stupid. This yeah, studio, they're like, this is well. I mean, in the, they're getting into, out of the fuel crunch time, so all yeah. cars are trying to get streamlined and real light. Yeah. So I mean, I guess that's what they thought. The cars are just yeah. going to get crummier. Yeah, they it got is. bad air, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they, you got to remember, man. At ninety, like eighty nine, cars were like cars were kind of crappy looking. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. It looks like the uh, yeah. I know exactly. Yep, like the eighties. You know, all those cars in that movie, you know, they're all and they're all crawling through the front. Did you see that? Keep open the front windshield to get in the cars. Yeah, I was like, I wouldn't own a car if I had to get in through the front windshield. <laughs> Yo. What? You don't think that's awesome? That was probably out of this world back then. Yo, that was so stupid. Each time they just jump <laughs> in there, I'm like, because you know they keep running those cars into walls. Yeah, and then it blows up, you know, like, you know, um, right when he gets you that, like, warehouse thing again, like, kind of like Robocop, it's always like a, a steel mill. Oh, shoot, you lost internet connection. Where had you come back to Shane in a little bit? Might have to, I might have to We record this one. We end it right here. Have to continue on the other side.